Hello world, this is What's Up 290 and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can pretty easily change the color of your cursor or mouse on Windows 10, 8, or 7. So first things first, you're going to want to install this app called Real World Cursor Editor, which can be downloaded from the link below. The website looks like this, just download and install it. So once you have this app open, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to create new mouse cursor, sorry, then click create. And then what we're going to want to do is go to the mouse tool here, here, sorry. We're going to select the outline color we want our custom mouse to be. So if I want to create a a yellow mouse, outline color, yellow, fill color. Here's where you can choose whatever color you want your mouse to be. And then secondary fill color. Select what color you want to be. Outline width. You can change the look of your out, outline on your mouse too using this tool. So once you're done here, just click OK. And this is what the mouse cursor you're going to create will look like if you just use that. However, there's several, there's too many to list, but there's several other tools here you can play around with to, to create the, the, the exact looking mouse you want to from this PNG file, basically. Then once you're done, what you're going, explore the software because there's a lot of options and too many to list to talk about without this being like an hour long video is what I mean. So once you're done creating your custom mouse, what you're going to want to do is click file save and then navigate to where you want to save the file to, which we'll need to navigate to this later. So remember where you saved it. And then go to settings. On Windows 10, go to mouse settings and then click additional mouse options. On Windows 7 or 8, if you go to mouse options or properties, this would just pop up normally. So what you're going to want to do is click normal select, and then a pop-up window will, will appear and you can where you can navigate to where you saved your mouse as. And then Windows will now use that graphics file for your cursor or mouse. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 290, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.